floats and marching bands to pay tribute to our brave men and women. Per News 7's Marissa Lacerra was there and joins us now with details. Marissa. Well, Lindsay, it was amazing to see all the veterans out there for the parade and whether they were walking in it or just there to show their support. And there was even a lot of participation from some of the younger generations. Mackenzie Bates is a student at Caprock High School. She's wearing her greens not only to honor the vets in Amarillo, but one special person far away, but close to her heart. I joined ROTC because I wanted to do what my uncle does, and he is deployed right now on a second trip to Kuwait, and I just wanted to feel proud wearing these. Though Veterans Day is Monday, some didn't want to wait until then to celebrate. I came out to see the marching bands and see my fellow, fellow veterans and just support, of, support our troops. Barnes is a Vietnam veteran who moved to Amarillo in 1970 and says the parade seems to get longer every year and it can only mean one thing. The vets are not forgotten. It means that America has not forgotten the ones who go sacrifice all, sacrifice some because they all sacrificed something. Hundreds of organizations participated in the parade, from Goody's Popcorn to Cub Scouts and even the Christian Motorcycle Association, all happy to pay tribute to those who've given so much to our country. We need to support our veterans in every way. Uh, we wouldn't have our freedoms if we didn't have what the veterans have done for us and what they're doing. It might have been a day to honor the vets, but for some, it was a stepping stone for the future. It's very honoring to uh, know that I will be serving our country. Now, Mackenzie told me she also wants to go into the Marines, no doubt about it, to follow in her uncle's footsteps. There's also some special events throughout Monday honoring veterans. Head to connectamarillo.com to see some of those. Lindsay, back to you. All right, Marissa, thank you.